My emotions are a bit everywhere today. I really wish I'd bought something out with me that I could have taken. Here, like the primazidian, even though it's only an over the counter, I think it makes me dopey enough so I can just sleep. Bring any with me. We're going to tell us off with Chloe this morning. They could have just somewhat sedated me this morning and this afternoon. And maybe that would have been better than me being awake and okay. Because I don't feel okay. I feel a bit. You know, but no, I feel a bit fucked over emotionally. It's not fun. I always got migraine, which is getting worse. Fun, fun, fun. The fun life of Lydia. Right, you guys are in a handbag. I still can't hold a camera. Been told. Oh god. You know what? We're just gonna wrap it. I'm gonna go with. The other theory that it was to do with the my issues with the bag issues of being diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and this might be something I have to do when I'm indoors because there's a lot to this like I need to talk about well one I'm just about how people treat me and if you saw my tweet earlier I tweeted at Lancashire Police basically attacking them for how they treated me and how they said I did it all for attention because one of the biggest and more serious symptoms of borderline personality disorder is the continued self-harm the continuous suicide attempts the suicidal thoughts, they are the serious sites of borderline personality disorder. Uh, I hosted a tweet earlier at them, I was like, so you're saying that I want your attention, but I want anything but it. I get handcuffed, I've been restrained, I've been literally picked up and put in the back of a van. I do that for fun, like, clearly, I do all that, you know? It's, I don't know anyone at all that's ever done anything like that for attention. Who wants to get handcuffed? Who wants to get restrained? Who wants all of that? Who wants to have police officers ask medication to calm you down? No one. The issues I have with the diagnosis are just, it's just a stigma surrounding it. Like, you know, a stigma. Surrounding the diagnosis of one and personal disorder is ridiculous. There's an unbelievable amount of stigma. Like, you guys wouldn't even understand the level of, just the level of it. Like, there's so much, and it's so intense to people because people are like, oh, you're just doing attention, you don't mean it, you're just attention seeking, you're, it's not that big of an issue, it's not serious, you're not going to do anything. And there's just so much negative stigma attached to borderline personality disorder, and you see it a lot. I'm going to talk more about this when I'm on my own, but not as I because I can't sit and film this outdoors in public when I'm literally surrounded by kids. There's a lot of issues with having the diagnosis of borderline personality disorder. There's just a lot of issues with it. Right. Also, yeah, I was right with the tweet. I managed to get on Twitter, and that is the correct tweet. I can point out another issue, though. And this is based off my own observations. Generally speaking, people with a diagnosis of BPD use it as a bit of an excuse to be a bit like, fuck you with everything. Like, oh, I have BPD. Like, it's not an excuse. You can't use it as an excuse for your behaviours. So yes, it can be the cause of it, but ultimately you're responsible for it. I don't know. It's really hard to talk about this subject when I'm probably left it out. It really is. I mean, I've, been called, I've been called a bad person because of it. Because of having BPD, I'm a bad person because I'm impulsive and reckless and because I'm suicidal. I can't help that, I can't. 
wouldn't try and change it. But I, want, I wish like the suicide results were there and they weren't as bad, but would I change? Well, it's, it's just a very complicated thing. People, people believe the stigma around it because of their lack of understanding. And I think that's what I'm going to talk about when I get in. I think that's the subject I want to cover. So we'll do that when I get home. A home, but you know what I mean. Anyway. It's top story tonight from its capital, Stockholm. This is Strang Mess, about an hour of drive west of the city. The small rural area with a low crime rate is tonight dealing with the biggest news story to hit it for years. Walking and walking and walking. <laughs> Feeding. Microphones in my handbag. Too much effort. Yeah, I'm not it takes too much effort. I can't really say. Can't really say. Anyway, this is uh, the end clip, I guess. The one. This one the day after the video. But I haven't actually finished filming the video. I'm going to film it like at home tomorrow. Oh, that's a stress. Busy, 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 busy. We're going to subtitle this as well. Because no audio. Well, no microphone. And the camera microphone is shared. So, yeah. So we're trying to edit some of this stuff tonight. I think maybe time to tell. What is it? Hope you can. Enjoy this video. Enjoy it. 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 En